Hey Collective, it's your girl Spiritual Sag. So let's jump off into it, see what's going on, Spirit. All right, what messages do you have for my beautiful Collective? Please and thank you, Spirit. All right, so you have the chariot in the reverse. just let this person go then like I, I don't understand what's going on here what did you find okay so you may have found text messages from other people with the seven of cups and three of pentacles but with the justice here you feel like yeah you found text messages and it could have broke your heart I see that but you're you get in this nostalgic energy of we've been knowing each other for so long and uh with the justice here you feel like this person belongs to you but they keep hurting you to keep allowing it like on this ten of swords this person is laying down allowing themselves to be stabbed in the back And I, this Knight of Swords is you carrying this secret anger. I feel like you're this Queen of Swords. Or someone's this Queen of Swords. And they're in a relationship with someone who openly displays the fact that they, do, they don't want them. And with the chariot in the reverse, it's not going to go further. But this magician is like someone keeps trying. They keep trying to balance it out. Someone could want to move toward... Um, an earth angel or toward a Sagittarius. I feel like the two of you guys are hiding secrets from each other. Okay? This person that you found them text messaging, that's the person that they want to go to. You won't let the, you won't let this person go. And I feel like it's because you feel like, you know, maybe you guys have kids together, or you feel like you you've been knowing this person for a long time. With the justice here, hell, you could even be married to this person. Mm. So it's like when you're in this person, when you are around this person, you're trying to do everything you can to make it work. But you have some secret anger that's built up in you. Um, I don't understand why you won't just let this go. You know, you need to have some boundaries here. Seven of one. Okay. Could be a belief system. Like someone here feels entitled, like they're supposed to have this person. Like I've been putting in too much time. I, I've been here too long with the Six of Cups to just lose you to someone. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, I've been here too long. Knight of Pentacles. It's like the thing, it, here's the fucked up thing though. The messages that you read. It, it really hurts you because this person could have been talking about love. Maybe this person had, has not told you that they loved you in a long time. And it's because they don't. And I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. It's just the truth of it here. They don't. And I feel like deep down you know this. But you don't want to give up. Um, like I said, there's something here. Either you guys have been together for a long time or you have a family. The, the truth is in the messages. Spirit, what was the eight of wands, seven of cups? What was in these messages, Spirit? What was in these messages? Wow. So, this person can't, they're not telling you, like, you could be going to this person and asking them, what can I do to make this work? They won't tell you anything, but yet you see the messages. This person is telling someone else how, I don't know, maybe you're stressing them out or you're bugging them. Wow. And then for some of you, the person that they're talking to is like a coworker.
But here's the thing, okay, I, maybe this will give you a little bit of relief. There's nothing going on with the coworker. They're venting to this person. This is the energy that they want to be with. I don't let's I don't know what's going on with this person. Let's see. Spirit, what's going on with the temperance? Okay, high priestess. So with the the high priestess coming out here in the Ten of Pentacles, you know, this person, they're not seven and ones. They're not talking. Yeah, damn, Hermit. Four of Pentacles. Here's the thing. They're not talking to your person. Um, this energy is focusing on their family or focusing on a business or something like that. But they're not talking for a pinnacles with the hermit. And you know why? This energy has boundaries. I was just telling you, because when I saw the seven of ones, I was like, you need to get some boundaries. You're laying here allowing this person to just do this. They're losing respect for you more and more every day because you put up with a lot. This energy has boundaries. They are like, I wish a bitch would. This person is also, um, I do feel like this person could be single. Okay, but here's, like I said, these two people are not talking. What else was in these text messages, Spirit? What else was in this text message? So I feel like what you're reading they're talking to either a co-worker or like maybe a family member or something. You physically saw the messages. You could see the messages about another person, man or woman. Um, and you see how this person talks about the things that are going on in y'all's relationship. It's even more a reason for you to let it go. You, you, I don't know. Maybe you think you can work it out. It can't be. Yeah, it can, baby. You know, it's not going to be worked out. Charity is in the re reverse because this connection is not going to go anywhere. Temperance is in the reverse. Spirit's like, stop waiting. Like, you could be staying, thinking it's going to get back to how it used to be with the Six of Cups. It's not. You, you're being told to leave this shit out in the cold. And maybe you don't want to. Um, maybe this person has money or something. I don't know. But let's keep going. Yeah. Okay, so what else was in this communication here? Because I see, like, it, it hurt you. What else was in these text messages here? Oh, um, okay. Wow, somebody was really going into detail about things. Things that turn them on. Things that they like the type of person that they like. They're listing all of these good things, all of these good qualities about a particular person. Yeah, somebody was like telling the cold hard truth. But when you go to this person and ask this person, what can I do to make it work? They won't tell you nothing. Or maybe they're just real cold and distant or they avoid the conversation altogether. Um, one, this person doesn't have any respect for you. And two, they just, they don't want this anymore. You know. And so you're reading these messages. I feel like it was a while before you confronted this person about the text messages because this person was listing things that they like in a, a man or a woman because I don't know who this is. They were listing all of the qualities that they like, the things that turn them on. So I feel like you started to kind of play out those things you try to make it work so say for instance you read that this person likes oral a certain way because whoever this is these are the types of messages that they are it's the type of shit they talking about but i'm telling you whoever this is that they're texting there's nothing going on between the, the two of them it's kind of like somebody that they can vent to I, they could work with this person or it could be a family member or something like that i don't know but, um, oh, whoever this is that they're texting likes the same sex. So you don't have anything to worry about with this person. Oh, hell no. 
So I'm hearing you're going to try to befriend this person. So say for instance, this is a masculine texting another woman. This woman likes women. Okay, so you don't have anything to worry. They like the same sex of the person that they texting. So you don't have anything to worry about here. But what I'm getting is you're going to try to befriend this person on social media or something like that. And I feel like it's because this person, they know of you because this energy is talking about you, but they don't know. Like if they saw your face, they wouldn't know who you are. So you're going to try to go and befriend this person to try to get some information. And I feel like that's when you're going to find out about this energy. Oh my gosh. What else here? Yeah. Damn. Ten of Swords. Higher fan, but see, you keep hanging on. You're gonna befriend this person to try to get information, and you're gonna feel betrayed again. Cause you're reading all of this, you're going through all of this work to try to befriend this person. You could be inviting them over for coffee, or you know, I feel like you worked it up on them, like a new friend on Facebook. Oh, you live in Tennessee? Well, so do I. Well, we live in the same city. Maybe we should link up. You're acting like you're trying to find things in common with this person, but you have an ulterior motive. You're trying to figure out what's going on with your person because your person won't tell you shit, but yet they can tell this person everything. So then when you do all of that and build some type of fake friendship, you find out the Ten of Swords and you find out it's a whole nother person that you need to be worried about. And But then here you are again, holding on. Oh, y'all can't even see half the dang old cards. Hold on. Wait a minute, y'all. Yeah, y'all couldn't see half the cards. Wow. I don't want the thing to fall. Okay. So, like I, I'm saying, people will only do what you allow. And I see with the justice, you feel like... You know, this is my person, or I had him first, or I've put in a lot of time, or we have kids. There's something that's making you feel like you deserve this energy. But clearly, and you've read it for yourself, these messages. So like I said, yep, that's, that's it. That's the messages. You're looking at it. Okay. So now you're getting information on this person. Because the first ten of swords is... You, you're finding out the messages. Then you go and befriend the person that they're texting. And there's nothing going on between these people. So you go and befriend that person. That's the second ten of swords. Because you find out that it's a whole nother energy. So then you start looking up information on this person. You're trying to figure out. Is this person with anyone? How do they feel? What's going on? What do they do for work? And maybe you see this person's stable, solid with the ten of pentacles person's keeping to themselves. I don't know. What else, Spirit? What else is going on here? Queen of Cups. Okay. This is the person this person is in love with. My goodness. But like I said, they're not talking to this energy because they have boundaries. And maybe they know that this energy was in a relationship with you. So they completely went quiet. Hermit, High Priestess, Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles. They are completely holding their energy back from this person. Yet this person wants this energy. And they're talking about this energy and you to this person. And that's why you befriended this person. What else, Spirit? Six of Swords. Don't do that. That's not going to make anything. Listen, because it seems as if you want to go and talk to this person. The Six of Swords. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, goodness. What are you going to... I'm telling you, I'm seeing these cards. This is somebody who's not dealing with this energy. And it looks like you want to go and you want to talk to this person. Maybe man to man or woman to woman, depending on who you are when you really need to just release it. It's too much water under the bridge. 
but okay yep with the world here you're hoping that once you go to this person and tell them whatever this is you're going to say that they will surrender it but that's what i'm trying to tell you that would be a waste of time because this person's not even dealing with this energy they have boundaries up they're not four of pentacles is holding back seven of wands is having boundaries the the hermit is like they're ghosting this they're not talking to this person they're focusing on that shit but okay so you want to go talk to him what are you going to say or what would you like to say See, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm telling you not to do it. You cannot. This five of ones look like somebody fighting. You're trying to confront someone. It makes no sense to me. It's like you're trying to take it out on every. You done befriended this person just to find out that it's not even this person that they are talking about. It's this person. So now you want to come over here where this person is and confront them. What is that going to, how is that going to help this person that you're fighting about want to be with you? It's not. Chariot in the reverse, temperance in the reverse. Now, for some of you, you could be married, hiring with the justice. And that could be the reason you feel that entitlement. Like, this is my spouse. But if they don't feel it, they don't feel it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so you want to go to this person, five of ones, and then what? And then what, Spirit? Because jealousy, I knew it. I knew it. Listen, sweetheart, whoever this is that I'm talking to, I see you going through pain. Three of swords, ten of swords, ten of swords. But you keep holding on to it. You keep holding on to it. I have no idea why. Like I said, you feel entitled or you feel like this is your spouse. What the fuck? So you're going to find out where this person lives. Come confront this person. Because you're, you're jealous. You feel like this person is taking your energy away. How? They're not even dealing with this person. Okay. So, Spirit, what would be the outcome if this person visited this temperance right here? A page of cups. That would piss you off even more. Wow. Because this page of cups is your person apologizing to this temperance. I wouldn't do that. I just wouldn't do it. Like, this is crazy. And it's going to hurt you even more. Whoever, whoever you are, I get it. You're trying to do everything you can to keep this together. But like I said in another reading, don't hold on to something that does not want to be held. And then you're going to go confront this person who ain't bothering nobody. Yeah, you're watching them. Page of Swords, trying to figure out information. More on the page of cups, spirit. Seven of Pentacles. And page of wands, yeah. I you know, so if you go confront this temperance angel, it's the news is gonna get back to your person, and your person's gonna it's gonna push him over here. I'm telling you. It, it's gonna backfire. It's gonna push him out of because this is where they want to be anyway. They're not talking. <coughs> This temperance is not talking to your person. It's going to give them a read. Once they hear, page of wands, that you confronted this energy, it's going to give them the reason to talk to this person. Maybe they're not talking because they fear rejection with the seven of wands. This is someone who loves themselves first. Queen of cups, temperance, they are focused on themselves. And so your person, um, maybe they're not talking because they're still in this connection with you. You want Somebody won't let go. And they know this temperance energy is not going to deal with it. So they haven't been talking. So I'm telling you to confront this person is going to backfire on you. Because then it's going to give this person a reason to come over here. And they're going to fully come. Four of Cups. Yep. Will of Fortune. The whole. Everything's going to change. Everything is going to. I can never make it up. This emperor is going to take that leap right on over here where he didn't want to go anyway. And then this entire situation with you and this person is going to come to rest. And these people are going to be reconciling. It will backfire. Don't do it. I don't know who reading this is. But I'm telling you, this part of what you're trying to do, don't do that. Even if you don't come yourself and you send somebody to talk to this temperance about this emperor, they're going to find out about it. 
They're gonna find out whether the temperance caused the anthrin. Like, listen, man, your wife done came to me, or your husband done came to me, or they sent somebody over here talking about this, that, and the third, and I ain't talked to you in forever. So what the fuck is going on? That's gonna open it up. Open the conversation up. This emperor's gonna be excuse me. They're gonna be apologizing. And then they're gonna tell everything that you read about these text messages or what they were telling this person that they didn't like about you. That's exactly what this emperor's about to tell this energy. I don't wanna be here, but she won't let me go. It's gonna backfire in your face, baby. My God. Mm, mm, mm. family room empty as hell so here you are i would just like i don't know what to tell you to do i know you want to keep this in high honor because you you want to keep this person this is not the way to do it it's not the way to do it it's going to backfire and it's going to hurt the fuck out of you because you're going to be like wow you're going to really see who they really care you already see it but you're in denial someone here is in denial okay and with the tempers in the reverse you could be angry like I, I feel like someone hides a bunch of anger under a fake smile it's like a big ass elephant in the room and then when you ask this person you're asking this emperor well, what can i do to make it work they won't tell you but then you get these text messages of this person talking about what is getting on their nerves with this connection but then they're also talking about the things that they want the qualities that they want the things that turn them on and they're talking about this temperance but you don't know that until you befriend this person maybe before you thought they were talking about this person so you you go and befriend this energy just to find out this person likes the same sex or maybe this person's married or they're just a co-worker or something like that and that the entire time this emperor was talking about this temperance over here and so I see you wanting to go here to confront this person. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, you watching this person. There's some jealousy here. And it's because you can see why this emperor would want to be with this person. But it's not this person's fault. Whoever this is. And I'm telling you, once you go here to confront this energy, this emperor's going to hear about it. And it's going to open up the gate for this emperor to talk to this person. Because right now... They're not talking. High priestess, hermit, seven and ones, four. They're not talking at all. They're not doing shit. And you're going to have a reconciliation on your hands. Oh, my goodness, goodness, goodness. Um, what are we at? 23 minutes. Yep. It's for a lot of you, this is a twin or a deep soul connection. Something like that. Yep, they're going to want to go to this person try to compromise with them. That's their seven of pentacles. When they hear about what has happened, that page of, of cups is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's like you're going to open the door. There's a brick wall up right now. You're going to open that door right on up. Mm -mm, I wouldn't do that. But I can't tell y'all how to do this, okay? Spirit, can I get more energy over here? Inner child. Yeah, you got some inner childhood wounding, and that's why you keep allowing this person to do what they're doing. I, I, I made a video on my other channel the other day. I said self-esteem. It's not what it looks like. Okay? Because people be having nice homes, nice cars, nice clothes on, and sometimes they be the ones with the low self-esteem. How can you tell a person's self-esteem is the shit that they're going to deal with? This temperance over here ain't putting up with the bullshit. The first time the seven of ones came out, I said, this is what you need to have, some boundaries. But you don't have any boundaries, and it's because there's some trauma there. I don't, and, you know, so you might need to heal that. So then you can see how toxic this is, and it's miserable. That was another card that flipped over, so let's grab that conclusion mm -hmm. and then you have solitude at the bottom of the deck so you might need to be alone for a while to come to the conclusion you know that it's you're holding on to some inner childhood wounding and that's what's making you hold on to this person who is really 
Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, and the simple fact that you read these text messages to another person talking about what's irking them of this relationship, but one won't let go. That's what you're reading. And it hurts you because when you go to this emperor, you're like, what can I do? It's, it's like a desperate. It's okay if two people want to work on something, but when one person one person wants to leave and the fool is here and one person stayed holding on for dear life, it does become people start to get angry and have resentment and ooh, it's just not good. Healing needs to happen. Healing. That's what needs to happen here. And then you will realize that's the only reason you're holding on to this because you're still holding on to some inner childhood wounding. Can I get energy over here, Spirit? Cycles. On top of this emperor landed cycles. Fresh start. Somebody is... And then you got communication right here and mirroring. Wow. Okay. So... Maybe this temperance was, you know, had their boundaries up because they knew that this emperor was dealing with some type of karmic cycle. But this is what came out with that cycle. A fresh start. If you if you confront this person, you're gonna give this emperor the ammunition to do just that. Have a fresh start. Fool with the uh, fresh start card. And the reason I said there will be a reconciliation because these two people are mirroring each other. Though they're not talking, they want each other. But this energy is not going to involve themselves in no third-party bullshit. That's why they got their boundaries up. This person wants to let go, but you won't let, or somebody won't let them go. So it's like they're longing for each other, but not talking. That's exactly what this communication and mirroring. They're longing for each other, but not talking. So if you play this out the way you think you're going to play it out, because you think, you know, I see you, you go over here and you tell this person, oh, we're married or with this or with that, that they're going to stop it. So they already know something's going on with this emperor. That's why they're not dealing with this emperor right now. So that will backfire because it's going to open that communication up. Um, with this, I have two communication cards in this deck. This one is telepathic communication. I knew it. I knew it. It's here. Divine masculine regret, signs, and communication. It's like somebody could be waiting on someone to break the ice or just this would be the final straw for this person. Maybe they hadn't, maybe they didn't want to hurt you. That could be the reason that they are texting this energy. How could they f figure this out? What should I do? Because there's some regret here. Something's going to happen and it's going to be like the straw that broke the camel's back. So if you reach out to this person or try to confront this person, it's just going to make this emperor leave. I'm just telling you now. It's up to you. I can't tell nobody how to run their life, but I'm just telling y'all what I see. And somebody, this person's going to be left in this house by themselves. And the only reason that they're even holding on as tight as they are because they have a lot of childhood wounding that they need to heal. They need to heal that and love themselves first. See, the reason the Queen of Cups came out with this temperance, this person, that's all they've been doing is self-love and blocking this emperor out like, hell no, nah, I'm holding back because I'm not going to be a part of no third party. That's what this energy is saying. They're working on themselves with the Ten of Pentacles. This over here, I see why you feel entitled. Because y'all could be married, higher for justice, six of cups. Maybe you have kids or you've been here for a long time. But look at all the shit that's taking place. And then you find messages. Like, this is crazy. So, it's up to you how you want to handle it. I'm just, all I can do is read the cards, okay? I don't even know, I mean... Are you the person, the tempers in the reverse? Are you the tempers in the upright? Or are you the emperor? I don't know. Or hell, you could be the, the little friend right here that's getting text messages from a, a desperate emperor that don't know how to do what they're doing. It's like they're scared to reach out to you because they're not full. They're scared to reach out to this temperance because they're not completely out of this. They know this temperance ain't going to deal with it. 
This is holding back energy. This is I wish a bitch would energy. And someone over here hasn't fully let go of them. So they're, they're scared to reach out to this person. They want to though. They wish they could talk to this energy. And so somebody confronting this temperance, they're going to hear about it and it's going to open the door. Wow, wow, wow. Self-love is the best love, regardless of who you are in the story. Self-love is the best love. Just period. All right. So that's what I have. It's your girl's so it's sad. Mm -mm -mm. Let it go, baby. Till next time. Bye.